kind of to crush you? Well, Newbie coming into this draft, in their last seven drafts, they had first phase 13 different heroes, and they're going, continuing now. The heroes, okay, but it's, it's not the bread and butter OG that you would have seen earlier, and they're really good at adapting and coming up with new cool strategies, so I'm looking forward to seeing how, um, how they pull this off in this game. Oh, the battles for the runes. Nubi is able to at least grab two of them. They couldn't grab the top one. Snaking was trying to contest no tail for it. Do you actually send his boar over? Yeah, so he destroyed the last one. Yeah, so it's only two runes going the way of Nubi, one the way of OG. That could have almost been three for zero if uh I love how if all Nortel these didn't get the rune. Like uh we, we we had we had an undisclosed person who was up here before, but all the goofy flags is all the icons of OG yeah. that they're running. And it's just like every different pose that Goofy can actually take wait and see who becomes the true carry of it um and yeah he, he is he is what is going to keep the fights together because if they don't sustain long enough they can just get caught off by burst really thinking about diving cc and c he's got three quill spray stacks up top is going to come underneath the tier two tower and maybe a little bit too deep is there any support that wants to tp over cc and c feels i can go back in for a little bit more hit him with the tree tops and so low but cc and c still with the three quill spray stack the tree toss it's so much damage but not enough 29 hp and cc and c has to move to the north side of the tower this is why we always keep our eyes on mid. Well, Topson's trying to deny himself to this neutral camp. CCNC is coming over. He's got toss available, but all right, Alpha's win. That's still that's a long death timer though. He's down for 25 seconds. CCNC right now I think should be nuking out this wave and suicide to the tower. Uh, that way he gets all the experience and gold here and gets back to lane with full resources. I hope he's going to make this exact play. He's buying a bottle. And I think oh, while this is, he's just going to kill himself. Yes, perfect. This is the best play you could make. Topson fortified, probably just to make sure that CCNC can't get every single CS there. MSS needs a load of extra spades. Got his four stick charges, so no talent's not going to force this issue. Now it's time but for bounties. But CCNC's coming over for the five bit of bounty runes. If he moves fast enough, he might even get his own opening as life stealer. Yawa with a follow up stun. And it's going to be repelled out by by Seb. But this four is four runes. bounty runes going the way of newbie. That's really really big for them. Bristleback. Not so good against the IO, of course, but maybe he can buy a pipe. They're ganking up on top. At the same time, Notel and Anna are coming under the tier one tower. This smoke maneuver from Pylai Dai and CC and C. This could be really punishing. If they can kill off Anna at the beginning, he tethers back. Actually, Notel's the one being slowed down. CC and C, he really wants to kill off the IO. He doesn't want the ET. Anna is the primary target, number one. Notel puts him to sleep. CC and C moves just out of range for it, and he'll come back in with the stun, but no, Anna tethers away to safety. Now, Notel brings in this plus 160. 60 damage to dissuade Newbie. But the failed rotation from Newbie is going to cost them. They really wanted that kill on Anna, but the positional play from OG just too good. That was uh, just a flat out outplay by Anna. Going into the bottom left corner there, so the avalanche misses. Oh, top lane though, they're still going to get no till here, I think. Yeah, the stuns damage. are out. Anna can't give that much. And that's actually first blood. Remember that first, the, technically the first one that happened was uh, the denial inside the jungle you delay this push as much as possible uh, one downside to playing five older titan though is that your mana pool is relatively limited so he kind of needs io to Topson. Uh, to sustain him in the middle of the ancient he's battling for the 10 minute bounty runes once again newbie claiming all four four again? bounty runes back to back bounty relocate. winners relocate from nice io it's a uh, pure efficiency Get rid of it quickly because the rest of og is coming no tell and anna trying to work with the alpha wolf even shrining early up but the familiar birds are ready to fight. And they do not want to give Anna this room to breathe. And MSS even looking to steal the camp. Now, no tell. Actually, on bottom lane, too. But the stun, it comes in towards the other Titan. The nuke damage is a little bit faster. You are able to just get himself away. Tops and underneath the tier two tower is in pretty deep if anyone wants to try and contest that. But. I don't think OG are going to look to do anything, really, until IO is level 15. So, level 15 IO with Axe, the faster the better for them. Smoke up on mid, fortifications trying to let OG's way push in a little bit harder, but they're wrapping around the back. The ET splitter, it's all going under the tiny, but CCSC will tank it up. They chain them together. g dies so quickly. Nortel's going to join him as well. The GA from Seth, it arrives, but it's so late. And now Thompson, this chain stun just continues to go on. The GA will wear off. Most of the abilities have already been burned from Newbie. The tower still Good. brought down as well. That went to Topson. Good luck killing the bristle with Omni next to him. <laughs> yeah. That's... That's a little harder. Yeah. Double damage.
Double damage. But that entire fight happened without the life stealer, without the IO. The two are still on the op box, polar sides of the map, having their own play. CC and C. And Thompson's going after him. Four quill spray stacks, familiar drop one and two, creates a little bit of space. Stun time doesn't last long. And well, there is no stun available to stop CC and C's TP out. OG still got the mid tower though, uh, which is nice. Like, even if their heroes aren't particularly good at taking team fights, which was somewhat apparent there, unless they're all together, they got the objective that they came for. And they're willing to lose two supports for that. Crypt Strike's in a little bit of trouble underneath the tower, looking for the stun for Thompson. Easy movement speed to get away. The silence will slow him down a little bit, but MSS looking for a rebuttal. Just some damage into Seb, but one by one, Nubia are up here. The Blink Dagger of CC and C is about to arrive, but he's lost his teammates. Is there a toss back? No, he just blinks over. He's going for the 15 minute runes closer towards his Beastmaster. They find themselves a fight, so they smoke up and they look for it. But what does Nubia do? They hide out, in fact, they then move their own smoke down the bottom lane. They're chasing Anna in the trees, and they need to stop that. They need to actually stop the relocate. They're able to do so. The silence arrived in time from Pylai Die, and Anna totally controlled. He moved his dominant creep back so he could potentially tether away to safety, but that won't happen. But Anna loses his life. What's the rebuttal? With always OG, there's a trade. It's the tier one tower top. Yep. And there's no way they defend that from the newbie, but. They're, they're buying time, right? They need to get this Lifestealer his Radiance. Yep. Uh, Lifestealer has not really been much of a hero this game so far, as it usually is when you go the Radiance build, you need that time to build up. And so far, so good. Sure, you lose this top tier one tower. I don't think it's the biggest deal, as long as you don't start losing map control completely. Oh, found a new target. Grimstroke is actually the ink swell that Jurak still had. Stunning up Lifestealer. Rage is available. He's got a creep wave to infest into, and he's got some problems. Topson's moved in through the lane, too. He needs a little bit more time. Who's he going to reach? A familiar? Is he going to reach anyone? They just have the avalanche to create some space with MSS's stuns. Up they go. Toss them away. Shrine's still on cooldown for the moment. But you are, can get live straight out of the jungle. It's a ridiculous fight soon yeah. coming their way. After what you've seen in the group stages, how they've run this lineup, them having the Aegis. Oh, that courier needs to not die. All right, they got the Radiance at least, but... Did they get a lot of I die? MSS will have some space. You are beating into Anna. Relocates away to safety. And she relocated into that. And now Topton battles against Yoa. Yoa, he kind of needs a creep to work with. He needs something to work with. MSS can't help him out. And Topson, Grave Chill, Jirax moved in through the side. A quick toss, catching the two of them together. They just keep buffing up Topson. Not even a ridiculous team fight. It's just an easy play where Topson knows just how strong he is. Grabs the creep wave from up on top. You pull it towards mid as well. They'll take the tier three tower. And there's no reason why you need to back up. Not unless a big initiation from Newbie is able to connect. Anna and Thompson, the ones on the front line. Remember, Anna still got that Aegis Immortal. You are copping heavy damage early on. The rest of OG, Smoke sitting behind. CCNC, nice toss back. They pull Anna in so deep under the tier four towers. They kill him quickly. The CCNC pounced on by the rest of OG. He won't have the ability to fight again here as a stop. It puts all of Newbie to sleep under the tier four towers. The soul bind tries to connect. And there she got anything. Can they kill Anna once again with the soul assumption? He's just tanking through all of this with the one charges. Tops and stacking everybody up as well with the cool sprays. They can get back to base, but even that's not safe. One more spray. Maybe snaking will die. Topson waiting. Under the tower, he's just tanking through all of it. A triple kill for Thompson. Nowhere is safe when OG hit their timing. He just killed three heroes with the fountain. Maybe they'll catch find a new target. Access to fly out. Oh, snaking. Does he want to roar on that? Probably not. Pilot dies. Think he better slow down instead. Snaking. Another boar up. CC and C. It's the Avalanche supports coming in. OG, they have chased way too far here, newbie. OG are under tier two tower. They have friends to help them out. The Soulbind connecting OG together. The Raw catching two back being pushed around to the side. But man, the Storm from Nortel, they just create more and more space. And where is this damage that newbie was meant to have? It's not there. They should probably be very happy that the only person they lost was CC and C. Who sure. knows? Uh, but yeah, he's getting the heart. This kill is ridiculously difficult oh, to jump perform. in, toss back. They found themselves a target. It's Bristol back with a fresh assault cuirass. That's a lot of life and armor. They have to get through. Yawaz giving it a shot. OG have come in deep. CCNC once again just stunned up a control from the back line, trying to create more space. They'll be the first one to die here. The roar is finally out, but for what a veil. Nothing is really going here. And Thompson, he's the man that's going, going, going into the fountain once again. Bathe in the glory of the radiant. Thompson, he just does not give a crap.
crap. Anna will give all the life. This is just fountain bombing. Jay, you got it. This is soul breaking. JJ. Okay. JJ. <laughs> That's my favorite moment of the game, Highlight Die, with the OK GG. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. OG always have these quirky strats. I think, honestly, I think this will be the last game of the tournament they get IO. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty convinced. Yeah. Just, it's not because the hero is unbeatable or uncounterable, but OG just have these kind of, they have these multiple different weird strategies that they can run with it. Mm -hmm. And you'd probably rather not worry about it. Similar to how, you know, thinking back at TI5, AOI's techies, it's like yeah. one of those off-brand heroes, you're like, you know, <laughs> you haven't practiced very much. Again.